Yo, before this video begins, I just like to let you all know that I'm doing a giveaway on my community tab. It ends once I hit 1,000 subscribers. It's got a lot of cool stuff, so go check out my community tab. It'll be on there, so, uh, yeah. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and everything else in between. I hope you're having a good day and night, no matter time it is you. So, in today's video, I'm showing you the brand new leak. Well, I said brand new. They're technically brand new, but they're not out yet. So, basically, uh, what's going on is, as you know, recently there's been a competition to see the top 15 uh, prehistoric based doodles that can be added, or oh, well, extinct doodles. Now, I'm really excited over this, because for those of you who don't know, uh, I don't exactly want to do YouTube when I'm older. It would be cool if I could. I don't think I'm going to get there, though. Maybe. But if you think I might get there, subscribe. Uh, but basically, I want to go into paleontology. So, extinct stuff, kind of my thing. And these two new doodles are incredibly, are incredibly cool. So the first one is Pranar. It's adorable. It's it's a little dragon boy. However, its evolution is really cool. Uh, Gyonar. I don't know how to say that. Gyonar. I think I got that right. I don't know. I keep reading it as Gyronar, but no, it's Gyronar. So, it's... The line is based off the Plesiosaur and some elements of the Mosasaur as well. Now, for those of you who don't know, the Plesiosaurs were the long neck ones and what is basically people go, oh my god, Loch Ness Monster. And Mosasaurs are... Well, big fish, but they're also, but well, I say they're also lizards. They are lizards. And I really like some of the, so I'd say attention to detail. I don't know if this is just them actually, like, researching this stuff or just the way they've been designed. But you can see sort of what it looks like either to be whiskers, I guess, which kind of like catfish, or you could even say it's like the tongue. It'd be really cool if it's the tongue because one, it's really unique, and two, it's kind of similar to what the of uh, the tongues of the prehistoric um, aquatic reptiles would be because their uh, closest living relatives are snakes and monitor lizards. Even back in the day, those are the I said back in the days. It was like twenty years ago. No, over sixty-five million years ago, their closest living relatives were snakes, other aquatic reptiles, and monitor lizards. Which, for those you don't know, although I reckon you would if you've existed on the earth at all snakes and monitor lizards have separated tongues so they could be whispers whisper whiskers which honestly i wouldn't mind because that's just really cool or it could be the tongue although i do think they are whiskers which also a really cool design element i'm really excited to see all of these also we got a uh, other one which uh was selected to win which is just a dog i can't even go into it being like a prehistoric wolf from from the Cenozoic. Wait, no, not the Cenozoic. The Holocene. I'm slow today. Like, it, it, it's just... It's like a bloodhound, but the eyes are scary, I guess. Still neat, though. I'm mainly just nerding out over Pranar and Gyonar. They're awesome. I need... I need them now, and if their misprint is purple, oh my god. But yeah, so that's uh, that's the video for today. I'll be having a good day and night. We're having a soup. See ya.